there. Yes, let's make sure you click. Oh, oh yes, and then you. Oh, yes. Okay, let's resume. Hi guys, The Sims here, and welcome back to the channel. And today I bring to you the very first episode of my new series, Our Journey. I'm so freaking excited to bring this to you guys. We've been working so hard to get everything ready and prepped in time with the patch, with mods, with everything. So. I hope you guys are ready to get all up into this. But before we get started, I do want to thank EA for providing me with a, a code to get some content out for you guys. Also, I want to remind you, if you're thinking about getting the new Sims 4 expansion pack for rent for yourself, you can use my creator code DSIMS at checkout. 5% um, of the proceeds will go to me supporting me in the channel. And I really, really, really appreciate it. So if you plan on getting that pack or any Sims 4 pack, you can use my creator code and I would greatly appreciate it, girl. Anyway, let's get into this new series. If you're new, hello, my name is D, and I'm, I play a whole bunch of stories on my YouTube channel and today is no different. We're going to be exploring the new pack using Journey, our Sim right here. She is so freaking cute. I love her so much. Um, we did a lot, a lot of prep. Majority of all the prep for this series was on my Twitch channel. If you're interested in seeing that kind of content live and hanging out with us, that information is in the description down below as well. So you can come over there and hang out. But basically this is Journey and Journey has already been on a journey, no pun intended, but she has been. So Journey used to be a daycare provider. She loves kids. She loves like, families and she just they just bring her joy okay she loves the, she loves the babies um and she worked at this uh daycare and it really wasn't a whole bunch of money but it was something she's always wanted to do and she really enjoyed it so she would just grind it out save up money here and there but she definitely did work paycheck to paycheck um and then she met this guy his name is ace he was very, he is very wealthy and he basically was kind of changing her life. Like, you know, giving her new experiences that she never experienced before, showering her with love and gifts and just seemed like the perfect guy. And they dated for a while and was um, being adults and wrestling. And Journey found out that she was pregnant. She shared that information with Ace and he maturely said, look, I'm not ready to be a father but I wanna support you and the baby in whichever decision you wanna do. I wanna be there to help you. I wanna be there financially to, to just provide because, you know, it takes two to tango. And he just wasn't mentally, emotionally ready and available to be a father. So I think that is a mature step. A lot of people had different feelings, but I think it's mature. And it was kind of a breath of fresh, fresh air of not having a parent who's just like, not around, not helping, not doing anything. At least he helped. I'm not saying he's a great parent because he's doing so, but I appreciated it. So Journey took that with a grain of salt and she's like, listen, if she decides to, you know, continue with her pregnancy, she will be a single parent. But Journey's always wanted to be a mom and she's always wanted to have a house full of kids. And she decided to do it knowing that she would be a single parent with some support, she decided to do it. So um ace and her kind of take a, took a break they're currently like on their break there's they're not really in any kind of romantic relationship but their history is still there and now we have baby we have baby aspen and she's so freaking cute so here she is here is baby aspen she's an infant she's so cute she's currently sleeping her swing so we're not going to disturb her too much but this is baby aspen this is journey and ace's baby and now she had to figure out what exactly she was going to do to change her situation because now there's a baby involved. And one thing Journey was tired of doing is living paycheck to paycheck and she wanted to make a change. With that change comes the, four of, the 404 Not So Sweets. This is a rundown, broken down hotel that journey was, this was the only thing she was able to afford. She was scrolling on TikTok one night and saw how people were saying real estate can be a great investment and it can be a new way of creating generational wealth. When I say that, just imagine a little rainbow <laughs> over the screen with SpongeBob imagination. Imagine generational wealth because that is the key for this series. Journey wants to create something that she can leave behind to Aspen and any other children she decides to have. 
and things won't be so hard. So she went to a local auction in the city of Delso Valley and they was literally was at the point where they would pay somebody to take over this hotel because it is a mess. And Journey said, look, hotels <laughs> or family apartments, well, what do you mean? So here we are at the 404 Suites. This B bill will be coming on the channel again after you see everything. But we built this on my Twitch channel and we had a great time doing so. The 404 Not So Suite is definitely not so sweet, okay? I'm gonna give you a little tour of the outside. It does have this other, basically like this other lot that people have made into their own home, okay? We might got a little squatter situation over here, but um, that's none of our business. Journey is not the type for confrontation. So um, yes, we're, we're not gonna get into that. We do have like a little bus stop. People can take the bus if they need to. We have some dumpsters out here, quite a bit of trash that we need to um, clean up and things like that. But you know, in due time, in due time. So let me give you a little tour of 404 Not So Sweets over here in Delso Valley. Here we are, here's the entrance. This hotel was built back in the day. I don't know, but it is old, okay? Um, here is the, the lobby or the entrance, whatever you call it, we got trash and cigarettes and newspapers and a ton of damage that just needs to be fixed up. But this is the lobby. I mean, we got this relic sitting over here, you know, floppy disk ready. And this little TV over here, we got like some little scuffs on the walls and things like that. You come in here, this is kind of like, the, I guess like the little mailbox room community space. Uh, where you can buy some ciggies and some some coffee and snacks. Um, coming through here, we are in our laundry room that we have, that the hotel used to have. Remember, we're turning all of this into apartments. So this is now the apartment laundry room. Um, appliances kind of dated, you know, they're, um, mm. but, you know, make sure you don't put your kids in a basket because we don't like that. Thank you, management. See, don't put your kids in those baskets right here. Don't put no babies up in there. We don't have insurance. We don't have insurance. And coming through here is the uh, space that used to be like, um, you know, like the little community space, maybe like a little lounge area. But Journey has some ideas for this little space. Okay, we got some radiators. They look like they leak a little bit. Um, You can play Clue. You can play Clue though, that's nice. Um, you can mop the, the carpet. Don't step over here, cause it's a little sloshy. Um, like I said, our, our water units are leaking. Kids can play, we got some newspaper. This is history, okay? People might call this trash. Journey calls this treasure. You can read about a lot of history that happened back in those times. Okay, we have a little, we have pets. We accept pets here. So pets are welcomed, okay? And we got little attractions. Look, we have uh, amusement park-like attractions here at this apartment. Just wait until we do our listing, okay? Central heating and air conditioning to every unit, like coffee bars, okay? Uh, basically, Starbucks. I mean, come on. Starbucks, in-house you know, laundry services and amenities, okay? St laundry, staffed laundry. Like, look at this, girl. We is in there. We is, we is, in, again, like I said, we accept pets. Like, girl, we, we, we are in there. But, um, yeah, this is the 404 Not So Sweets and we're gonna turn this into a gold mine, okay? Y'all might say, Ooh, D, this floor needs to be clean. I say it builds character because look, these stickers got stories attached to them, okay? That dust and grime on that chair just shows that somebody had a good time. So we are open-minded here at the night of uh, not so sweets okay the 404 not so sweet and 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 we have we accept pets 
one thing about Journey is she's going to make something out of nothing. Okay, she's going to turn lemons into lemonade. Yes, that is why the baby have on the bees because we're also a part of the beehive, period. Anyway, um, we're going to turn, you know, this into something great. And the one thing that Journey knows how to do, and she does well, is care for some children. So remember that old place that we just, the lounge? You see lounge here. I see daycare, okay? Amenities. We need as many amenities that we could put on these uh, rental applications as possible. And I thought it would be so cool if Journey opened like this, like, like these small family apartments that offer childcare, because I know that is like the hardest thing when having a kid is having proper, reliable childcare. One thing you can trust with leaving your child here is they're going to be safe and entertained here with our pets and attractions and central heating, they're going to be well taken care of. For. So you may see grungy, dusty, and old. I see fun, adventure, and imagination. Okay, so yes, we will be trying to offer daycare services here at our 404 Not So Sweets because I just thought it would be cool for Journey to have something um, you know that that we can do so in this pack some sort for rent there's not a really big way of like making money like you know a horse ranch we could we can train horses sell them or we can do nectar there's not a money making task in this so we gotta be creative and my girl loves babies so we're gonna have them here and i want to play it up as like the tenants who live here i really want to have families I really want families to live here or at least, you know, it could be single parents, whatever. I really want kids, toddlers, teenagers, everybody to live in this space. So um, basically what we're going to try to do is we're going to say that this is an amenity of the apartment where you can go to work and not worry and know that your children are going to have premium child care. Now that we know a lot about the series, let me show you a little bit about Journey. So this is Journey Holmes. She is definitely a loungewear girly. Loungewear girly. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, So she definitely loves her comfy clothes. And look at her little daycare smock. She's so cute. Um, She is nurturing, soft. She's generous. She just wants to give back. She just wants to help. And I think that's what one of the main reasons why we're gonna open our little daycare. I'm excited, girl. She's also nosy. As much as she wanna help, she wanna know why. <laughs> tell us, sit down, tell us. And she's lactose intolerant, so she can't be messing with the dairy, okay? Um, these are her outfits. This is her little formal wear. She's so freaking cute. Her workout attire. Definitely our soft glam girly. Well, not really glam, but you know. She, 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 she gets to the point. Look at this, look at her little outfits. They're so cute. I love Journey. I think her lounge, her sleepwear is literally like her favorite outfit to put on. When she have her sleepwear on, girl, she feels at one. Okay, I love her outfits so much. Um, And then these are her party outfits. If we're ever going out somewhere, you know, she got a couple of little options. Okay, girl, why do you have on? <laughs> boots um but here we go with her little swimwear outfit i wish we had a pool or something maybe you know we're gonna get some money we're gonna get money and it's okay um we got us some cute little um what am i trying to say oh hot weather wear and then her cold weather wear super cute i love journey so much i love her outfits and then baby aspen has on some cute little fits as well. I had to change her hair from the thumbnail because it was like doing something to her arms. But she has these cute little pigtails. We 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 like, you know, we put some little baby gel on her hair and some water and, and, and swept it up into two little, two little, uh, I can't even call them buns. Her little sprigs, her, her little uh, strands, two little strands, cute. Um, So she has one with a pacifier and she has this Cute one, I could not pass on this shirt. And I love these little pants with their feet enclosed. They look so cute. 
but she has some little formal wear. So definitely, um, Journey definitely dresses her very comfortable, just like her mama. Okay, got to be very comfy. And if we ever go to the party, my baby's a shark. So period. So that's what she's dressed as. Here's her hot weather and her cold weather. Super cute and cozy. I love them so freaking much. And she is a sunny baby. One of the best things about being a property owner is that you don't pay rent, girl, because you're managing the property. Why would you pay rent? Now that we know a lot about everything, let's go ahead and give you a tour. I know the intros are crazy, but it's the first episode. So yes. If you're wondering why my um, little space look like this, I'm gonna talk about that in a little bit, but let's try to ignore it as much as we can. I know it's hard, but let's try. Um, here is our two bedroom micro apartment. This thing is small, y'all. So we have us a little love seat with some of Aspen's toys and a cute little area. Everything in here works. Um, this apartment has been renovated. We've tried our best. Like Aspen used a lot of her money to get things fixed. Even um, Ace helped her. He wanted to make sure they were both in a safe environment. So even Ace helped her get everything together. So our kitchen and stuff is still run down. Our appliances are not the best. We still got some scuffs and stuff on the wall, but it's better than the other units. And, and, and maybe we'll see some of those today. Um, but we have our, our cute little kitchen area in here. We didn't have a whole bunch of money and we don't want to take too much from Ace. We really want to take money from Ace for Aspen. Um, I think Journey is just so used to being on her own and doing her own thing. And she just wants to kind of keep it that way. But we also not going to ignore handouts because we need help right now. And ain't nothing wrong with a little handout when you need help, period. Uh, we got our rice cooker or our pressure cooker so we can make some of the new items that come with the pack. Um, my baby's currently resetting, so we're not going to look at that. Here is um, Journey's very, very small bedroom. Very, very tiny. At least we got a new unit. You know, ours is clean. We got new filters, okay? Got a cute little bed in here. Some diapers, we need to change something. It look like we got a little dirt and stuff on the floor. You might one, you might be wondering, why is there a, a, a baby small archway? Girl, I'm gonna talk about it in a second. Don't get me, ooh, don't get me going yet. Um, We have Aspen's little corner where we can do diaper changes in there. And also her high chair. We got some cute little pictures. In here is our very, very tiny but functional bathroom. Um, we got a tub and shower combo, a nice sink and mirror in here. And then through this um, opening, we have a baby Aspen's room. And she has the cute little crib from, what is it, Sims 3 or Sims 2? It's so cute with her little sunflowers in here. And she, we have like a cute little soft chair. We have some paintings. Oh, and some scratches. And then we also have her little changing table and her diaper pail and stuff like that. So the apartment is very much tiny. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room. These, uh, these openings with the new lot type residential rentals, girl, if you follow me on Twitter, you probably already heard me ranting about this. Basically doors always remain up. So yeah, they always remain up and archways too um, when you're in residential rentals on your own lot. This may not be noticeable to people who are in like super big rentals or maybe even townhomes or whatever. But when you're in like a very small apartment like this, I had two doors side by side and I play with the Sims 4 camera. I don't play with the Sims 3 camera. And it is very hard to navigate with all these doors blocking everything. I mean, it is also very annoying to have like mirrors and things like that up on the wall. It is a known bug. The devs do know about this door bug, how they always stay up. You can see our front door is staying up as well as our archway into the kitchen, but those didn't bother me too much. All of these doors on this side was giving me the heebie-jeebies. I couldn't take it anymore. So what I did was I took some archways that were really thin and then I sized those down with the tool mod because I couldn't take it. So until then, our house looks a little crazy. I honestly don't care because I play with my my walls cut uh, like halfway cut away anyway. So it doesn't bother me. I'm just happy that I can see my apartment, okay? Again, it might not bother you, but it bothers me. If you're looking for a fix, definitely get you some archways, size them down as much as you can. Um, and then if you have two mods, size them down to, 0 0.05 and they'll be this small they still walk through them they still function fine i just couldn't take it no more girl i'm sorry i had to i had to do something um also another thing i had to do 
to make my building buy better because people are experiencing a lot of lag and stuff with the residential lot type. I had to take out Better Build Buy because Better Build Buy was loading up debug live edit every single time I hit the um, build mode button. Again, I have a lot of CC. I couldn't deal with it. Maybe you can, I can't. So until then, I took out my Better Build Buy, which means I'm not gonna be able to use tool while I'm in build buy, but I can use it in, in live mode and I'm okay. I'm okay with that. Live mode, live mode, whatever you wanna call it. So here's our apartment. Um, we need to go ahead and classify our apartment as a two bedroom, one bath. Um, I have everything that we need. So I don't really know how much my apartment is worth. I would love to actually find that out. Maybe we can look through some menus and see what we can do. But this is our 404 owner suite. And we technically right now have one more suite that is kind of up to par with getting together. Okay, upstairs, we plan on having more rentals. We we want at least four in this place, including ours. So there'll be four rentals in this spot. But we're not ready. Look, we got logs up here. That would, that means we, we not finished. So don't look up there. Um, I want Journey to make money to furnish these places. As you see, we only got $2,500 left and there's already something I need to buy. So it's gonna be a little hard out here. But here we are and this is, um, I can, I think I can minimize this, right? Yeah, let's minimize this one. We're in 404 Suite 1B. Um, and this is what their stuff is, is looking like. Um, hmm. Is this, is this already on? Oh, there we go. So I can look in the unit now. You can see I sized these down regularly because I thought they were going to affect stuff. Um, but it looks like they don't. So maybe I'll go ahead and replace the doors back. I don't know. It, it bothers me so much that I'm willing to just wait until the door bug is fixed or somebody makes a mod to fix it or whatever. I don't care. They, we just gonna have to have size down archway. I don't care. Okay. Um, but this is the apartments there. Mm, you can see how Journeys was renovated. Look at her carpets. Look at her uh, air conditioning units. Mm. But we have to $2,500 and I really wanna get this filled and uh, and everything. Um, oh girl, I can't imagine living in this. Cause we, watch when you go downstairs. Look at the difference, watch this. Oh Lord, it just, ooh, it just take me away. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, let's look at one more thing before we do this. One thing I desperately need to get Journey is this pump. She needs this because she's currently breastfeeding um, Aspen and I didn't have one before. So that's $240 already gone and it's something that is a necessity. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that for her real quick. I wanted to go ahead and show you the lease agreement. This is for 404 Suite 1B. Right now I could charge $92 for nothing. All they have in there is a fridge and a sink. So we're gonna add some more things in there and see how much we can charge for max rent. And I'm hoping we can get some families. I'm not really sure. I am praying for mods for um, this uh, expansion pack so much. I really want more unit rules and I really want more tenants that you get to pick from. Um, I know originally they showed that there was so many tenants available, but I'm on a new save file and I only have two. I don't know if I have something interacting with that or blocking it, but if I was to go to the next page, I think I only literally only have two people interested. So let's see, maybe I'm, I'm just hoping we can do something. Maybe I need to add more people into my world to make it more, um, make sure we have more tenants available. But I want to see what we're able to do with 20. To, I want to leave at least some money. So let's say $2,000. I, I wanna kinda do, make sure we got some things down here if we are gonna be turning this into a daycare in this episode. I really want to at least have, if we have infants or toddlers, I want at least a, a infant bed or something that they can like lay in, maybe like a little pack and play. I want something like that down here. So I'm gonna keep that in mind with the money. And we're gonna see what we could do for unit 1B because I'm, ooh, I feel bad for them. I'm sorry. So let's see what we could do y'all.
be never on your own something you're not telling me yeah i believe it's true you're all for someone new i've never felt this stupid thinking i'm enough for you tell me is she cute is she my substitute i've never felt so certain that i've had enough for you hey cheetah do you feel better Okay, we finished the apartment. Um, let's go ahead and change this color to maybe this nice little blue color, just a little lighter. Okay, there we go. Um, I did see something that says our unit changed. Uh, maybe we'll click on this uh, when we go back into live mode, but okay, I, it's not the best, but listen, y'all need to take advantage of debug. Okay, I, I used to take advantage of debug a little bit, but girl, ever since someone showed me what to do, I have been taking advantage. So um, it gives you like suggestions of things to add in here. We've checked off at least one uh, in every category. We have three beds. So I listed as three beds and one bathroom. I'm going to player test to make sure the sink, I mean the shower sink and toilet works and make sure they can come in here and and cooking stuff i use my cc to my advantage let's just move this back just a smidge we got a tv in here i was down bad so i definitely got the little bed from eco living the one that you find in the trash it's not the best but y'all it's clean and it works okay and like i said our goal for journey is to completely renovate these units and try to get the most money we can uh out of them and put a lot of money into them so we we were able to get to a little children's room in here. And I think it looks good, okay? So I'm, I'm excited about it. I will go ahead and say, maybe this is, it has some good things for kids. So maybe we can say this is great for children's play or child play, is that what it's called? Yeah, child's play is good. And we don't want any smoking in our unit. So I'm gonna put that on all of them. Um, I don't know what else you could do. Probably the one where you, yeah, let's all get along because you're going to be in a very small space. So we want everybody to, you know, be in a, in a, in a good little, little area. Um, challenges. I will say that this place is going to get kind of gross. So I will put that it's filthy, but I am not going to be adding on, uh, things in their rent. I'm, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about right now. So for the least agreement, I'm not gonna be putting on no trash overload just because this place is nasty. I don't expect it to be great. So one thing I don't want, I don't want any social events because y'all have no space anyway. So what you doing? Cause you're just gonna be breaking stuff. Um, loud noises, I really, I really don't want to put this on because I think it's a little OP. I really need a mod fix for it. 
I don't understand the whole 10 p.m. thing. I could see maybe like midnight, but like you can't even watch TV at night. And I think that's a little crazy because even if you watch TV at night, they'll be like, you're breaking your lease agreement. So it's too much. Maximum occupancy, girl, we don't have space and we only allow pets downstairs. So no pets and no ghosts. So you can be loud, you can have your trash, but abide by the rules. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna put for this unit. But look, it did go up. We are three stars. The amenity are luxury. Girl, it says luxury. Place items from build mode, such as beds, toilets, showers, bathtubs, skills, hobby. See, we, we checked off everything. We got luxury. Got luxury amenities. Okay, and it's a decent environment. The maintenance is poor, but it always starts out poor. And we can fix this up. We really can. Okay, that's our little lease agreement for right now. Let's try to uh, fill the vacancy, but in, in, in a in a little minute. Okay, let's let's come back downstairs. Oh, is this the? Oh yeah. Oh, this is the panel it's referring to. So we need to charge at least $50 because we get a unit tax. If we don't charge $50, we're not making any money. So um, one thing I wanted to do is I wanted to look up, I have a mod in where you can get house insurance. So here, this is a modded thermostat. I mean, a modded smoke detector. I really wanna see how much it would cost for her to get house insurance because I just think it's smart. So anytime there is like a fire or anything like that, they will give you money to replace your things instead of you just replacing them outright. And I have a feeling that Sims are gonna be a little, you know, not responsible for things like that. Oh, look, our little baby, she's sleeping. I know I'm gonna get a lot of questions where this swing is from. It is by a creator named Dollish or Dollish, D-O-L-L-I-S-H. They have a lot of like functional infant and toddler things. So definitely check them out. House insurance quote, we're, okay, hold on. We're here to help you get you uh, to get cover, get the cover you need for your home. Take care of the information you provide. Wait, take care that the information you provide is accurate and complete the best your knowledge. Okay, let's start our quote because I really want her to get, oh Lord. You're currently, you currently live in a high region area with a starting price of $700. House insurance prices are based on the region you live in and whether you, oh my God, and whether you have any fire safety equipment installed at your property. Oh girl, I can't even afford $700. Oh, absolutely not. Absolutely not. That's, we'll, we'll be very, very cautious. Okay. Um, oh my God, that is crazy. That is crazy. Okay. Um, I'm ready to get some people up in here. Our baby is taking a nap. Let's fill this vacancy. I'm going to see what we have available. Oh my gosh, <gasps> we have two elderly people. Wait, they're willing to pay 133. And I think that's a child. Wait, what are the icons? What What is this? Is this a little kid? A parent, a little kid. And what is the one with the, with the balloons? Hold on, let me check. Okay, girl, I had to come in here because I was not sure. Oh, it's a teen and a child. Okay, so it looks like we have a parent with a teen and child. That's perfect for what we just did. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Okay, um, let's do that then. Let's do it. Oh my gosh, we're getting a family. I was really scared that we weren't gonna have people, but I guess it was because my unit was literally bare bones when I checked the first time. But now that we have people in there, I mean, we have furniture in there, we're gonna have Oh my gosh. Okay, let's see what they're willing to pay. Oh wait, there's animals too. Okay, this is the Brock family. They need three beds and they're willing to pay 102. Okay, let's go back. If they're willing to pay 102, I'm willing to accept that. And let's say we're gonna do this for three days. Maybe in three days time, we'll get enough money that we can update their unit. So the lease length is basically how frequently you wanna get paid. I think, I think that's how it is. So right now we're gonna do three days or, um, yeah, let's do three days. I don't think we're gonna kick them out or anything, but let's do three days and then 
We will get the Brock family. Oh my God, this is so good. Yes. Okay, so I think it automatically adds the people here. Okay. So it's Nancy with Julie and Johnny. And they're they're moving in. Oh my gosh. Yes, this is... Oh wait, you know what I forgot? You know what I forgot? And I don't think I can fix it now. Oh my gosh, I forgot the hamper. So they will do laundry. I literally forgot to do a hamper. No, and I can't do it because they're living there. Maybe for right now, I'll do a hamper out in like in our little common space area. I literally forgot, but I did find so many kids toys that were free, like zero simoleons. So we're gonna be putting those in all of our houses. Okay, let's just put out a community. That is so nasty. A community laundry bin. But like I said, we're down bad, but we're I feel like we're also helping people. So I'm 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 not trying to go out my way to like make it horrible. We really don't have the money and we we have all intentions of making things better. So girl where are the laundry where are the affordable laundry baskets oh my god the cheapest one is a hundred zoll hairs this was 99. why are they so expensive a hundred dollars oh wait no this one's 90. okay let's try a 90 dollar one. Oh goodness i guess we'll just put it in the lobby that's 90. Now I really wanted to get a pack and play because I'm quite sure we're going to be getting um, infants if we start our daycare thing here. Uh, Yeah, that's not gonna be that great. Okay, let me see if we can find the cheapest baby crib. Okay, so this one's a dollar. Okay, that's a little, that's a little cheaty, but it works. I'm sorry, but it works. Um, oh, and we also have a dollar changing table. Ooh, should we do it? We also have like a little play mat, so we could just put them on the floor. I really wanted this pack and play because the pack and plays. Okay, you know what? We might break our budget, but I have a pack and play where you can I think you can add things to it. So if I put this down, oh, wait, no, I don't have enough money. I don't like how it got all red. Okay, so look, we have like a little toddler seat. We do have high chairs. I think those are gonna be quite needed. I think we're also gonna need like some type of mini fridge unless we just keep going back and forth to our place. This supports infants. Maybe we should just get a little crib like this. Not the best, but I don't really want to pay a dollar. But this is what we got. I know it's a uh, 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 you can you can call me out on it. I'm sorry. Maybe the kid the toddlers can come over here and rock on the horse in the sloshy carpet. Maybe it'll be like a little fun for them. And then we can also get this changing table. And uh, this is the matching changing table, but look. Why are infant things so massive? They're so huge. Oh, this little green one is cute. Okay, I don't want to cover up our pets, but for right now, I'm just going to move them over just so we can have a little bit more space. Okay, hopefully all this stuff works. I really want to look into some type of food so we don't have to continue to go back up, back and forth upstairs. There is these new cereal boxes that I downloaded that people can just grab cereal from. I think that's smart, it's $10. We could also get lunch boxes because I think uh, kids can just grab from the lunch boxes. In the meantime though, babies love Cheerios. Let's get some Cheerios. I'm also gonna get my girl one upstairs. Let's get her some little Cocoa Puffs because who don't like a little Cocoa Puffs? 
I think that could be very, very good. Um, but the lunch boxes will probably be really smart because I think kids can just grab from them. But I'm gonna be honest with y'all, the Sims be renaming things to just things I don't understand. And I can never find the lunch boxes, like ever. So I'm gonna try to search for them. Oh, look, we got like, oh yeah, we could do this. We do have a vending machine downstairs too, I forgot about. But I'm just thinking about like toddlers and infants. They can't get everything. Yeah, this is like putting in all of our debug stuff. So, um, it was a base game update too. I just, oh wait, here it is. It's $120? $120? Man, I just don't know. I don't know. 120 bucks is crazy. I feel like we can cook food for that. You know what? No, we're not gonna go for the, we're not gonna go for it. We got everything we needed. I think we're good. I think our people are either moved in instantly, but I would love to like meet them and stuff. You know, could we like chat with them and be like, hey, thank you so much for being a, uh, being a resident and welcome to 404, not so sweet. You know, but I, I wanna see people interact with our community space. And then we're gonna go ahead and get Journey her daycare job because why not, you know? Journey, are you done on this computer? I'm ready to, I'm ready to do some other things. Okay, so we're gonna be an at-home daycare teacher and it's $24 an hour. I think you get paid like $100 per kid or something like that. I, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I don't know if this mod is compatible with the update. Oh, I got a hundred dollars. Wait, hold on. Journey weekly stipend was transferred to the bank account. Journey should use this to buy supplies to run their daycare. Okay, wait, maybe we can buy something. They gave me a hundred dollars. I'm gonna save because like I said, I don't know if everything is compatible with the update, but we shall see. Give me a hundred dollars, that's so good. Okay, Journey is now an amateur babysitter at Tumlin Top. She starts Tuesday at 9 a.m. So in the morning, we're gonna have some stuff and I think I might wanna use that to get something for the infants because I feel like I just want so one more thing. We got food if we get a toddler or a child or something, cause I don't know like what age we get in the beginning. Um, We don't have toys. So toys may be nice to do. Um, we got food, we got coffee. Yeah, maybe like a little play mat or something for infants that we could just put down. Okay, let's let's see what we could do. We spending a lot of time in build mode, but you know, it's okay, it's okay. Okay, I got a little play mat that was only twenty bucks. Um, toys, I want to look into some toys really quickly. Like I said, toys are very, very uh, cheap. Okay, so this little bear is for infants and it's for toddlers. So probably gonna do a little bit of these. Just size them up so they look plentiful. Okay, so I think one thing that we probably definitely should invest in is a changing table maybe in our bathroom over here. Um, I feel like that is going to be very, very important. So let's get us a change of table. Oh, I, I hope it's not too expensive. I'm so happy to give you a stipend. That's so like, it came in clutch with that one. That is so good. Okay. Oh, one of these little swings or something. That would be so good. Those are for infants. Oh, that's for infants and toddlers. Oh, that's like legit gold. You know what? I might get rid of this and just get this because I feel like that is just way easier. The cereal will go right there. Okay. Um, Changing table. Are you even here? Oh, it's $300 for that one. Oh, wait, we have a changing table. What am I talking about? Okay, sorry. <laughs> 
Okay, so we're gonna be doing everything here. I really do want to make sure, I wanna lock this for, I wanna allow baby proofing, I guess, cause I don't want any babies to go through there. So we applied baby proofing. So hopefully babies don't go upstairs and they'll just be in this new active room. I'm so excited, this is so cool. Okay, well, sis is getting a little hungry and it looks like she wants to try out her rice cooker so let's do that oh she needs to pump oh oh okay okay i'm sorry let's have her come upstairs real quick. oh she already had a pump what the heck she already had a pump i did not know that okay oh she's talking to the tenant she's talking to the tenant okay come up here she needs to like i'm gonna have her pump her left side and her right side so she's gonna go ahead and pump and then I want to try out our rice cooker. So she has no cooking skills. So I guess we'll make some vermis samosa soup or we could just make some steamed rice. You know what, rice is cheap. So we're gonna make some rice. Oh, she's pumping. So then that means when baby wakes up, she'll have some milk and we could put everything in the fridge and all. Okay, I remember last night when doing play testing, that the fridge needed to be in this space in order for it to work. So I just switched it around and I sold the little um, trash can we have because we have the diaper pail. So yes, okay. Journey, let's hurry up, sis. She is hungry, but we got the milk, which is great. And now we can put the milk in our fridge. So now baby will have a milk, which will be great. Okay, what's wrong? Make steamed rice. Okay, cooking in progress. We also can get us some cereal. I love that you could just grab a bowl of cereal. Look at that, ain't that just the best, y'all? Okay, I would love to see some neighbors. Neighbors, we have activities for you to do. What are you, uh-uh, what are you making a salad for? We're making rice. Journey, just go ahead and make it. Just go ahead and finish it. Girl, we are making rice. Okay, she's she ready for some action. Wait, Journey, please. We, we're doing things differently. Okay, we need to release the steam. I love the pressure cooker. I think it's so cute. I want more recipes for it. Okay, so she has her salad. Let's put that down. Maybe she can eat her salad and rice. Oh, she gonna put it away, okay. Let's release the steam. Nice. Okay, and now we have 12 servings of rice. So let's just grab a serving. Is baby waking up? No, she's still resting. That baby sleeps a lot. Okay, baby, go in and sleep. Oh, Johnny, we can watch TV. Do you need, oh, you do need some fun. Let's go ahead and watch TV. Go ahead, girl. Oh, she loves wake up time. Ash is frequently bright and sunny. Oh, wait, maybe she woke up because I turned the TV on. I'm sorry, little baby. Meanwhile, I'm like, oh, yes, TV. Okay, let's turn on the little sitcom channel. I think the sitcom channel came, we're growing together, and it's so cute. Okay, come on, Sue. Oh, not her putting the bowl up top there. Okay, and little baby listen to the TV from here. Oh, they playing peekaboo. How cute, can she watch this? Wait, can she watch from her little rocker? I don't know if she can. Oh my gosh, she's watching TV. Oh, they became good friends. That's so cute. Okay, wait, let's turn on some Gracie's Corner. Uh, can we change the station? Change, what are we watching right now? Can we change, watch channel, watch the brainchild learning? Maybe we should put that on. Oh, she's talking to her, how cute. Okay, girl, turn the TV on. I mean, turn the channel, the baby don't need to be watching this. Free love, except at the most, oh Lord, not free love, please. 
Everybody gonna be mooching on each other. Okay, can we turn the TV to like a baby channel? Look, she was watching that. There you go, little baby. You can watch this now. How cute is that? Okay, yes. Go watch that. Journey need to go to the bathroom. I use the bathroom. What are you doing? Look at the baby. She's watching the TV, y'all. That makes me so happy. Okay, can you like... Okay. Stop. Stop turning off the TV for the baby. Turn on... Uh. Okay, I guess we're going back to Cartoon Network. She can watch Cartoon Network. Okay, Journey, no. You have a whole toilet right here. Come, come, come use this toilet. Please tell me she can get in the bathroom. She can't get in the bathroom because of the couch. Oh goodness. Finally figured it out. Y'all, I promise you these micro apartments take so much like tweaking and stuff, but I did see, look, look, Nancy came out. She came outside. She's checking some stuff on the computer. I haven't seen any of the kids yet, but Nancy came outside. Hey, tenant and friend. Okay, let's see if we can actually put the baby back in the thing. Hopefully it's not bugged out. Oh, thank goodness it works. Okay. So everything is functional yet again. It looks like we're a little tired. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up a little bit. We got $335. I'm gonna turn this off because Aspen is not watching anymore. She is hungry though. So maybe we should get the milk. We should get some milk for her. We can use our little breast milk that we pumped. Get some milk for her. Look, she's tired. Okay, I hope y'all enjoying y'all little house. I wonder tomorrow at like nine o'clock, like when like school and stuff starts, if the child and the teenager will actually leave and go to school. I'm so curious, y'all. Like I'm so excited for rentals and stuff like that. We're heating up our milk. If you're wondering what ma this is from, this is from Realistic <laughs> Pregnancy. Um realistic pregnancy mod so you can breastfeed and warm up the milk and everything wait sis where the milk go okay girl not you going to sleep when the baby is in the little thing okay we're gonna feed the breast milk okay it looks like aspen is just ready to go to sleep for the night as well okay sis let's go ahead and feed the breast milk go ahead and get her together Yes, it looks like she's just she's just tired. She's been awake for too long. She don't like it. Okay, girl, it is okay. Yes, give her her little breast milk. Okay, and then we're gonna put her down to sleep. Great. Okay, and I see my my sis got some little leg hairs. We need to get that together. I cannot stand the in-game leg hair. Um, let's go ahead and we're gonna shave our leg hair to our preferred length. Um, we also can set our sinks tight. So this is our bathroom sink. And I believe our kitchen sink should already be set to kitchen. So we can set that now. And I think she did wash that dish in the kitchen, which is really nice. Okay, sweet pea, you got you some food. Now you can go to sleep. We will auto light this room. So when she goes to sleep, her little lights will go off. Journey, you're adorable and i love you so we're gonna shave we're gonna brush our teeth and i think yes this is tired we got a long day tomorrow too we're gonna go to sleep as well okay aspen's just gonna cry her little self to sleep baby it's okay it's okay look at her with her little sunflower pillow how adorable okay aspen's in there tackling her legs i do have a shaver or a razor a shaver I have a razor override. So if you're seeing that it's like all black and a little smaller, that's why. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna brush our teeth. Okay, waiting for the baby to fall asleep. Okay, yeah, she's going to sleep. Okay, I want to, oh, hold on, let's pause. I want to auto lice this room. So let's show all, auto light this room. There we go. And maybe we'll keep on this light. And I think that's cute. So now we can hide all these extra. Oh, actually, let's auto light the other ones as well. Auto light this room. Um, I like my kitchen to stay on. We'll auto light 
this room as well. The bathroom and the kitchen can stay on. Okay. Oh, my good sis need a, oh, she do got a little lamp in here. Turn on this light. There we go. We got a little nightlight action. Love that. Super cute. Let's go ahead and sleep through the night and we'll start our first day at the daycare tomorrow. Okay, hold on. We're waking up. Baby is not feeling too great. Let's go ahead and change um, her diaper. It's okay, little sweet pea. Journey's so cute with her look. Her little scarf on her glasses. Oh, sis, you gotta shave your arms too. Okay, everything seems to be going well. Okay, I haven't seen any more of the tenants, so they must be sleeping. Oh, I want them to be more active. Maybe we just need more. Oh no, she tinkled on us. Oh wait, did that say she's a free air tinkler? Oh goodness. That means she's going, she likes to be free. Okay, sis is a little sleepy. What are we doing right now? Oh, she's gonna eat the rest of her garden salad. Guess we just getting us a little midnight snack. And then maybe we can just take her, take us a little power nap. We're doing good. I'm gonna fix her stuff a little bit. Okay, what's the wrong? Oh, she's gonna try to go to sleep. Okay, go ahead and take your little nap. Journey's just gonna go in here and shave her little arm hair. Probably gonna use the bathroom. Get everything together. Oh, and now this morning we could eat us a bowl of cereal from our cute little pink bowl. It was five bucks, but it was well worth it. I love it so much. Okay, it's in her inventory. So let me have her steady sit. Oh wait, she, not her going to spy on Nancy. Girl, please. No, not yet. Okay, so it's seven o'clock. I wonder if we're gonna see stuff. I wanna see people actively doing stuff. Do people go to work? Oh, Nancy was downstairs. I didn't even see that. <gasps> You're going back downstairs. Are there any kids here? Come on, get active. Oh, the baby was definitely trying to sleep, but we turned on the TV. What we watching? Okay, the cooking channel. Okay, look, she's trying to get her cooking skill up. I know that's right. Oh, she did not like. Oh, she didn't like the cereal. She did not like it. Did she even finish it? Okay, let's go ahead and clean this up. Oh, they playing peekaboo. I love it. Okay, work starts in an hour. Oh, she got her reach milestone. How cute. Okay, she's going to chat with Nancy. Okay, does Nancy work from home? Is that why she's on our computer? She could have got her one. Okay, friendly. Oh, you know what? Can I ask her about our tenant stuff? Not spy on her. Where's the tenant? Friendly, where's the rental stuff? Rental. Why I don't have no rental thing? Grass on land and sweet job. This is gonna be great for you. Thank you, Ace. Okay, well, we start in 30 minutes, so I'm gonna go up here and grab baby girl. Let's go ahead and, okay, I had to search up pick up because it was taking too long. Let's go ahead and pick up the baby and bring her down here. Oh, we need a, like a little radio. That's what we need. We need like some little, some music for the for the kids. So it's not just like super duper, you know, boring in here. So where can I put this? Maybe I can just put it on top of these newspapers. Right here. Little record player, there we go. Oh wait, it doesn't have to be that color. There we go. Little gray, little record player, only 25 bucks. We could turn on some little kids music, so it's inviting. Okay, wait, sis, you're not going into bed, are we? No, we're grabbing the baby. We picking her up and we're coming down here. Uh, we're, we're sending a loan. Doesn't she go to work here? She's an at-home daycare provider, right? She works here. 
Did I give her the wrong job? Wait, she works at the house, right? Okay, I believe sis is an at-home daycare teacher. I'm gonna have her go to work real fast, but it shouldn't take her anywhere because she is at home. I clicked at home daycare provider. Oh, here, oh, wait a second. What's curse? Here in, I guess, our apartment, a string of unfortunate events has been in motion and it's starting to feel a lot like a curse. Visit the Brock household unit to locate the cursed culprit or call the contractor crew over the phone to take care of the problem. What do you mean, curse? And how is she going to work if she works from home? Journey is off to work. She's supposed to be here. I'm so confused. And apparently our, un our people were cursed. Okay, let's try this again. I don't know what's going on, but let's quit this job. Okay, let's quit that. There's so much happening at one point. Quit this job and let's make sure that, that we're... Yeah, at-home daycare teacher. I'm very, very confused. I could have sworn... We just work from home. I'm gonna have her join the career again. And I guess I'll wait to the next episode to see like if you guys have any tips, but I did everything correctly. I don't know. See, look at home daycare teacher. Cause daycare teacher means she'll go to the daycare to work. At home daycare providers care for children in their own homes while their parents are at work. Am I just missing something? Okay, I don't understand. Okay, here, here's the kids. Wait, here's the lady. It looks like the lady is leaving. Or is she coming to talk to us? She, she's chatting with us. Hey, girl. Oh, look at the little boy. He's not at school today, but he about to play hopscotch. That's cute. Come on. Hey, skip it. Hey. Okay, period. We're like talking with Nancy, getting to know her. I don't understand why we were not working from home. I don't know. I, I guess we'll try to test it out in the next episode. But before we end this one, I really wanted to play daycare. Before we end this one, it looks like we need to travel over to this a lot. Because they're having a cursed event or something. So let's go ahead to that unit. Okay, destroy the curse book or mail away the curse. So I believe we're in their unit now. We can come over here and... Oh, there's a book. So what do, what do these do? This could this could be uh, some other Sims problem, right? We wish... Him... Okay, or destroy it. No better way to deal with the curse to get rid of it. We're not touching it, so we're going to mail it away. Girl, where you going? Hello? Why are you walking all the way over there? Okay, let's have her come over here and I guess we'll we'll knock on this door and whatnot. But their house don't look bad. I mean, it's cursed. I don't know why. But yeah, th there we go. Let's mail this book away. I really don't want to destroy it or touch it, but maybe we had some gloves on. She gonna mail the book away because absolutely not. Okay, we had our first little property owner thing. Oh, excuse me. Not on my uh rent. Uh, used to be Persian. Little boy. Little boy. Absolutely not. Say hello to this little boy. Okay, curse. Smooth job of taking care of the curse. You're satisfied with your brave action. And your unit rating went up. Oh, nice. Okay. Hey, little Johnny. Don't do that. Okay, can, can you make him clean it up? Okay, we'll clean it up. Okay, but y'all really, I don't understand how, why she wasn't able to, to be a babysitter. Shouldn't she just had been at home? Or should I choose the other one? I'm not sure. 
Okay, that's great. She's telling little Johnny not to mess with the old Persian. This used to be a Persian. Can Kubu Koiba? Yes. Oh, what's the sound? Oh goodness! Not the mama in the baby bed, girl. Please. She said, "Oh, you downstairs with the kids? I'ma go ahead and and, and play pinochle." Excuse me, the not so sweets is not that sweet for you to be doing that in the baby bed, Nancy. And you're not gonna even wash your hands. Okay, y'all want to thank y'all so much for tuning into this today's episode of our journey it, it looks like we we definitely gonna be on a real one for real let me know what y'all think in the comments down below i will see you guys in the next one remember to stay beautiful stay lovely stay in the house and have a grand grand day bye guys